Hi, welcome to Aussie Target. In this video, I'm going to quickly run through calibrating your own map image. Uh, I've had a few emails from people asking about the Albuquerque map, for example, that's only supplied as a JPEG. So the help file in Aussie Explorer is pretty good at walking you through this, but here's a video to help as well. So we'll start off. Uh, we'll go File, Load and Calibrate a Map Image. And we've downloaded the JPEG from the Albuquerque site and we open that. Because it's JPEG image it may take a little while to load. This one's about 74 meg so uh, takes a little while to process it. But once that comes up the uh, the map shows up and we're in the configuration page here. Now the first thing you want to do is have a look around your image and you're looking for this information about the UTM grid. So over here we've got the three 37000 and uh, and 39 there. First thing we need to do also is have a look in the uh, legend here and find out what we can about the map. So this is WGS84 UTM calibrated. So let's just select our map datum WGS84 don't worry about the variation or anything for the moment and map projection is UTM so let's go to point one what we need to do is find a UTM point on the map from the grid and then we'll start plugging in the coordinates so that's the first we're up in the top uh, left hand corner of the map in fact if we go down to the bottom left it might be easier here so we'll put in point one here now up here you can see the little zoom window when we put our point on the map we can get that nice and centered and if you hold down the shift key and use your arrow keys you'll see that you can move that around until you've got that nice and centered so that's point one let's just put in point two for the moment so again we'll put that down the bottom here and we just use our cursors with the shift key down to position that. Point three, we'll put up in the top corner here. So again, get that nice and centered. So if we go back to point one, so from our map legend here, you can see that we're in zone 13N. So if we go back to point one, and put in zone 13 and then our easting will be 337 123 and our northing 3869 123 and Albuquerque we're northern hemisphere so it's north go to point two again zone 13 easting is now uh, sorry three six five zero 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 three eight six nine zero 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 and then point three again zone thirteen three six five zero 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 three nine one seven zero 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 now for a moment three points is enough to get us started if we go back to our setup here, the next thing we can do is set our map corners. So by selecting show and hide map corners, I can drag that map corner down to there, go down to the bottom of our map, drag that onto the corner there. Drag that corner up to the corner, near enough, and down to here. Now what this does is just lets Aussie Explorer know where the actual map image finishes. So at that point we've got enough information just to check that we've actually got this sort of right. So if we hit save and uh, we'll just leave the map name the same as the image name, hit save, we should now have a calibrated map. Now the easiest way to check the calibration on the map is to turn grid lines on. So if we go to map grid line setup 
we want to go to other grid and turn it on line interval at one kilometer because that's our normal UTM grid lines and labels at one kilometer hit save close and what you'll see is if it's worked perfectly we've got little blue grid lines drawn over the top of the grid lines on the map and they should be lining up really well and if I go up to the top edge of the map you'll see we've got these um, white uh, boxes with the information there in fact I can make that uh, if I go to other grids let's just dial the font size up so that they're really obvious so you can see we've got three five zero 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 if we come over to the side of the map and we come up to one that's got the full numbers you can see we've got three nine zero zero three nine all your zeros and calibration is looking pretty good so again this grid line is uh, is really helpful um, I'm just having a play here we'll just see if we can make that contrast a bit better go bright pink okay close that okay so hopefully in the video you can see that but we've got pink grid lines over the top of everything so at that point that map is calibrated and uh, we can go back to our grid lines once again turn those off if we're happy save it and close and we now have a calibrated Albuquerque map just like that that's part one of the video and uh, in the second one I'll show you how to convert it into an OZF file thanks for watching